Hi everyone, it's Kelly. I'm back with my peacock ornament series. This would be ornament number four. Um, I just will go ahead and get started and show you how I made this ornament. So the paper pad that I started with was the Gone Wild paper pad. I used it in one of the previous ornaments that I did and it came with two sheets of this peacock pattern paper. So this is all I have left of um, what paper was in that. So um, I cut out pieces and I used my Spellbinders uh, Nestabilities dies called Heirloom Ornaments and they look like this. I used the very largest die and I cut, um, I think, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think eight pieces. I cut eight pieces out. And basically what I did was I adhered them, well, first after I cut them out, what I did was when I cut them out then I scored them straight down the center and folded them all in half. So I cut the eight pieces and then I scored them down the center with my Martha Stewart scoreboard and I folded them in half and then I just adhered them all together with my um, ATG tape. And so that's how you see this uh, pattern where they are all sort of um, just sticking out in a folded pattern the whole way around. So that's how I created the base. I then took some wire and I thread it through the center and I finished it off with this little gem from MB Treasurista and this was a little seam binding bow that I added at the bottom. I used the seam binding to thread through the center as well and that is how I came up with, uh, let me get a little closer, that's how I came up with the hanger, how I was going to hang it. So let me see if I can take it off of this. Okay, so it has this seam binding bow. Okay, and that is how you hang it. And it just, it just hangs like this. I used some dark blue mesh bling from MB Treasurista. I went around the whole outside and I just adhered it to each piece, each edge. And you can see the paper in here. So I did that. And then I went around the top with the seam binding so that it gave it a nice clean edge. So after I did that, I used some of the seam binding and added a little bit of extra accent. We'll see if I can hang it back up here. I added a little bit of an extra accent to it. Um, I twisted it and I brought it down the front, but there was so much blue that I thought, well, um, I'm going to see if there was anything else in my stash that I could add because, like I said, there was so much blue. So I found this purple rickrack, purple sparkly rickrack in my stash and that's all I had left of it. That was just a tiny little piece and it was just enough to go across the front. So I adhered that across the front and then adhered it to the back. So once I did that, um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do to the top. I didn't want to go too overboard. And um, I had some mulberry roses and they, or trellis roses and they just, I don't know, I just couldn't find the right color and I tried my Lindy's and 
it just didn't seem to work. So I found the beautiful rosettes that I just absolutely adore from MB Treasurista. And then um, this purple flower was a uh, Recollections flower from my stash. So I adhered the purple flower on top of the rosette. I'll show you again. And then I added that on top. So that is my ornament number four. There it is. I hope that you look, like it, and you can um, leave a comment. It's kind of hard to film because I had to find a way to be able to hang it so that you could see it, but it's just not quite, I mean, you just can't really get the whole idea of it as it is. So, um, yeah, that's ornament number four in my series, so keep watching. I have a couple more ideas that I want to share with you. And leave me a comment below if you have anything that you want to say. Um, my um, peacock ornament giveaway will be closing in another week. So I'll give, I'll give you time if you're sending them. Um, I will give you time to send them, but I am going to close um, the, the online signups. So thanks everyone for watching and have a great day. Bye.